Oh my god! That's cute. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of footage that I included at the beginning of this video where I was going shopping in Japan. We went to Loft in Shibuya and it was so much fun. It was really really cool to see Hobonichi in person. So let's get into it. I was a little underwhelmed by the selection there. I think by the time I had already gone it was halfway through September and I think everything had kind of been picked over a little but still managed to find some pretty good things. I want to show off this adorable stamp that I picked up. It's got these little hedgehogs or porcupines. I don't know the difference, but isn't it freaking adorable? That little lines. I feel like this is perfect for addressing envelopes or making lists. I also picked up this 
date stamp. It should stamp in this format. I didn't realize until today actually that it starts in 2019 and it goes all the way to 2030. So I missed a few years already on it, but I guess that's all right. I thought it was going to start in 2024, but guess not. <laughs> I'm going to open it up and show you guys what it looks like. So it is super cute and it's made by CNB right there. You can see that it goes December something and then you just rotate these discs and it should adjust to the date that you're looking for. So let's say today is October. Today is actually October 18th and it is the one year YouTube video anniversary. So I actually posted my Hobonichi haul one year ago from today for 2023. It was my first video on YouTube. So essentially you just change it to the day that you want and stamp. So that's really cute. I thought it would be cute for journaling. So I wanted to get the Hobonichi cousin. I already knew that I was going to get another one of these. It is going to be my third year using one of these and it is my tried and true planner. I use it every single day. I plan my week in the weekly section and I journal in the daily section and I also plan the monthlies at the start of the month. So this planner is actually perfect for me. It's the perfect size and I wasn't planning on spending too much so I was thinking I'll just get the Hobonichi cousin Monday's start in English in the A5 size, January start, and that should be good for me. Oh, I'm glad it made its way all the way back to America and the corners did not bend. So that is amazing. What's this? Oh, life is present. Oh, it's a little cat. Life is present. Keep your own very life book. Oh, that's so cute. It's um, Hobonichi's way of advertising the different tachos. Oh, we've got little phrases and little doodles here. I like how they choose a different theme every year. I think this one is centered around life and its small intricacies. Really cute. I like to keep these little inserts to try to journal with them and scrapbook or even uh, like paste it across the cover. One year, I actually turned it into a cover for the A6. So I don't know if this is possible this time, but you might be able to. So this is the Hobonichi Cousin. I did not get another cover for it. I actually really enjoy my cover that I currently have. And I mean, the whole point of buying a cover is so that it lasts several years, right? So I have the, what is this one called? I forgot, <laughs> but I have it in the description box all of the time. And I think this still fits in with the theme of this year, which is just life because this little dude represents how I feel all the time. <laughs> in case you don't know, the Hobonichi Cousin is a planner that uses Tomoe River paper and it encompasses all components of the year in one notebook and it is actually really thin and very lightweight considering it has the yearly, the monthly, the weeklies, and the dailies all in one book. So you get the overview, you get the year at a glance or future log, you get your monthlies that go from December all the way until I believe it's March of 2025 and what they do is they actually release another version in April or well they release it in like February March but it's like a April start and then you run into the weeklies that has a date or a timed schedule from 5 a.m. to 4 a.m. I don't always follow this. Actually, I don't really follow the numbers at all. At first, I thought they would bother me, but eventually I kind of gave up on that and I just kind of do like to-do lists that run through today. The next section, you have this kind of turning the page to a new year. And normally I just kind of write my yearly goals in here, but I probably won't do that this year because honestly, I haven't really looked at it ever since setting it up. 
So we'll have to think about what to put here. And then you turn the page into the dailies. So the daily section, it's dated every single day for 365 days. There's a quote on one side and then there's um, whoever said the quote. There's also a little scheduling time. Kind of goes from six to three, but it's kind of hard to follow this exactly. So I tend to ignore that. Every month there's a different color. Some people don't like that. I don't really mind it, but there's a different color index to indicate the month. And you also get the calendar in the corner. They also have the moon phases, so I think that's pretty cool. And then at the end of the notebook, they have one, two, three sheets of graph paper, a timetable, graph paper, favorites, my 100, an interview with myself. Okay, that's different. Seasonal sweets to make at home. That's really cute. Yeah, so every year they kind of change it up a little bit. Caring for your eyes. Oh, that's really nice. It's like little exercises on what you can do for your, your eye health. <laughs> Words to remember. 365 days. Checklist. And then this is information about more about Hobonichi. You can also write like gifts that you're receiving or planning on giving for the year. And addresses and personal notes. They always have this um, stamp at the end. I don't actually know what it is. Is it a serial number? Does anyone else know? The binding on these notebooks are really, really strong, but as the year goes on and you add more paper and stickers and tidbits in there, it does bulk up. For example, this is what mine looks like right now, and we're in October. You can kind of see the difference. But it's really neat when your planner starts chunking up because it kind of feels like it's being lived in, you know? As I was saying, I just need a Hobonichi cousin and that's it. But I was in loft and I was getting all anxious and I don't know, I like picked up a few more things and then I put it back and I ended up grabbing it anyways and checking out because I mean, like how often do you get to go and shop for Hobonichis in Japan? So I don't really need these other ones that I got, but I'm going to find something to use them for. This is the Hobonichi Week and it's the Liberty Fabrics cover. Emma and Georgina. The Hobonichi Weeks is always packed with this clear plastic board. I don't really use it, but it does keep the cover straight. And then it has 2024 embossed and gold foiled into this, but you can't really tell because of the fabric. But look how pretty this fabric is. Like you can see Hobonichi right there. It is beautiful. Wow. Oh, I didn't get a cover on cover, but I was thinking I can just use my one from this year, probably. I really like the texture of this fabric, and I'm a big fan of Liberty Fabrics. Their patterns are so unique and just so pretty. The florals really stood out to me, and I felt like I needed this. The Hobonichi Weeks still has the old Tomoe River paper, so that was one of the reasons reasons that I decided to get this one. This is the yearly view, the monthlies. It starts in, okay, the monthlies start in December, but if I remember correctly, the weeklies start in November, November 27, basically December 1st. But yeah, the Hobonichi Weeks still has the old paper, which is part of the reason I got it, because I really like the way fountain pen inks interact on this paper and I know I've tested the new paper and it should be fine but on the chance that I don't enjoy it after using it for a bit I can always come to this one. I don't know if I want to use this as a social media planner or not and if I can find a job by next year then I can use this as a work planner as well. Ooh, that is really neat. They provide this pocket that you can stick to the inside of your cover. So that's pretty cool. This fabric feels really, really, really nice. 
Maybe I shouldn't put a cover on cover on it. The one other thing to note about the Hobonichi Week is that the paper is a different shade. I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but this is more of a white and this is more cream. The one downside of shopping in person, maybe because I didn't go to the official Hobonichi store, but I went to one of the official retailers, is that you don't get the Uni Jetstream pens that come with it. You know how everybody has been unboxing their orders from Hobonichi and they get those pens but I don't really use the pens so not really missing out. The next thing we have is the Hon. I saw a comment on one of the YouTube videos where somebody was saying it's not Hon it's Hon. I think it is Hon and I believe it stands for a book but I really really like this floral design and this was the last copy that they had so I kept picking it up and putting it down picking it up and putting it down because I don't need an A6 version but you know here it is in my hands so we're gonna open it oh if you don't know what loft is it's l-o-f-t it's kind of like this really cute department store that sells home goods stationery and all sorts of cute stuff i was so overwhelmed i didn't even realize i picked up a japanese version oh i don't think they have it in english the home anyway <gasps> did you hear that did you hear the creak of the binding Amazing. Ooh. It smells like tea. It smells like tea. <laughs> That's so cool. Look how beautiful the cover is. There is an embossing, debossing 2024 on the cover. So pretty. Oh, <laughs> it's like opening a hardcover book because it's like a brand new hardcover book that no one's opened before and like you get to open it and hear the binding crack. They have hone printed on the inside, the book and pages, and then we have Hobonichi original techo, and it's pretty similar to the cousin but a smaller size. The only major difference for the A6 is that it doesn't have the weeklies, so it goes straight into the dailies, and I don't really have a use for this. This is too small for me to be journaling in. Ooh, look at the, oh look at the bookmarks we have a gold one and a dark blue one but like it's not enough space for me to journal i know some people really enjoy memory keeping in these and i think with the hard cover too it does make it harder to add ephemera and things like that because you don't want it to bulk up too much in case the binding can't handle it so yeah i don't actually know what i'm going to use this for but i might ignore the dates and use it as an ink journal possibly we'll figure it out before next year wait We've got the end of the book, a lot of miscellaneous pages. There's a little bit more graph paper in here than in the cousin. So we've got a timetable, graph paper, favorites, more favorites, my 100. This is probably that like questions for myself page, just sweets, and how to take care of your eyes. I don't know what this one is drawing optical illusions and more educational tidbits we've got a conversion table i believe and more hobonichi stuff a birthday year like if this person was born in 1977 then they are 47 addresses personal notes and that's the end of that we have one of these that is really neat. Once again, we've got one of these. And, oh, what is this? All right, on the back of the cover, we have Hobonichi debossed into it. And we have some Japanese characters. I'm sorry, I can't read those. We ripped it. Oh, it's a pencil board. It's got craft, a little ruler, and it even has a pen loop. Let me see if I can find a pen that'll fit in here. Looks like one of the Le Pens should probably fit. Okay, the lapen doesn't fit, but the clip does. So. Oh, how cute is that? So there's that. That's what we have for the Hobonichis. Oh wait, there's more. Oh, also on this, it is really neat. It shows the different components of what is inside this techo. I also got this. This is a cover on cover. I like the effect 
of the craft paper underneath this because it helps the little images stand out. But I thought this was super cute. We've got a little dog, a little pot, like little boots and a rabbit and bread. And it's just really, really cute for like everyday stuff. So this is a cover on cover and you would put it over the cover. <laughs> like, so I have the A6 One Piece Techo from 2023 and I've actually converted it into a five-year plan where I'm just kind of writing 2023 at the top. It's kind of personal, so I'm not going to show you, but I'll show you on an empty page. I've been writing 2023 and then writing three lines of what I'm grateful for that day, and I'm planning on continuing that through 2028. But I wanted to treat myself a little bit and switch the cover on this one because this was good, but I'm getting a little tired of it but let's just give you a little preview of what that would look like so this one's pink with like green on the inside but it'll kind of look like that and i think that is super cute oh it's really cute on the pink because i had this um i actually had a, a gray insert because i didn't like how the pink was showing and you can do that with the the craft one as well. So it like changes the look of your notebook without breaking the bank. And that's what it would be like if it was directly on there. So that's super cute. Can't wait to use that. I'm going to wait until next year though. As a bonus item, I want to share the adorable little planner that my sister bought. Look how cute it is. So on the front of the cover, there's a penguin in a dinosaur outfit. It's faux leather cover. And on the back, it's my favorite look. He's like, don't bother me. <laughs> it's so cute. Alive, dead. Not dead, but definitely resting. <laughs> A little penguin in a dinosaur onesie. I they had so many different designs and they were so freaking cute. I wanted to get one, but I was already committed to Hobonichi, so I didn't. But this brand, I believe, is called... I think it's called Matoka, if you guys are interested. I will just hold that up so you can take a screenshot if you want to look it up. This is a 2024 diary. It has a little clear pocket on this side. We've got the 2024 calendar. And then looks like the year at a glance. The paper seems nice. It's hard to describe. I think it's sort of like MD paper, but not quite as thick. Like you can see through it a little bit. So I don't know if it's fountain pen friendly. But we have, oh wow, they start in October for the month. So we have the monthlies and then, yep they start in okay it goes to november and then december and then it starts in october wow i'm guessing the sundays are all a light shade of red so the mondays and sundays or not mondays sorry holidays is that the u.s holiday that's Columbus Day. They also have the week, the current month and the following month, a weekly to-do and your day by day of the week. And then in very small text, there's Japanese characters and occasionally a moon. There's Thanksgiving for the US, so it is in red. And we have two adorable bookmarks. They're a very, very nice shade of green. I really like bookmarks. I know some people don't use these, but I like that they're there. The font is really small. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says October. So then like every time there's black, then it's kind of a new month. So that's pretty neat. Oh, we got December, end of December. And then once we get to the end, there's a, a world map and you can paint your colors in this blank map. We've got the time differences, so that's pretty cool. Not very helpful unless you can read Japanese, but I'm sure you can translate it or you can kind of figure out which time zone it is in. There's a map of Japan. This is a map of the subway routes in Japan, I believe. So this is definitely helpful if you're one of the locals or just are interested.
These are really, really cool. I wish I could read these. Then we have 2025 and oh, it comes with a little note taking notebook. It looks like it has graph paper in the color of orangey yellow. It's also very thin and looks like it will be ghosting. But overall, this is a really, really, really cute planner. I'm sure it'll work well with gel pens. And like, how can you resist this little penguin in a dinosaur outfit? I mean, even if you don't need another planner, maybe you should consider getting another one just because of how cute it is. Okay, well, that is all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more. I will be setting these up soon for 2024, so hopefully you can follow along for that. And I will see you next time.